This is why you should consider buying a cottage in Quebec. In this video, I'm gonna share with you all the pros and cons when you purchase a cottage in Quebec. What's up everybody? This is Vincent Labranche from the Labranche Home Team, all the way up from Quebec, Canada. If this is the first time to this YouTube channel, you want to know everything about the place to eat, uh, the things to do, the cost of living, top neighborhood for families, the best lakes to explore, where to fish, the best trails for ATVs and snowmobiles, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so every time we upload a video, you will get notified. Today we have the privilege to film this video right on Lake Kippawa. It could have been on Lake Timiskaming, could have been on Lake Gordon, even Lac T. Those four lakes are the nicest lakes we have around. So one of the downfall is definitely the travel. We're located two hours north of the Muskoka region. Everybody knows Muskoka. Traveling an extra two hours could be sometimes, you know, not too fun, but saving thousands, if you're not hundred thousand dollars on the price, that makes it more appealing. This is pure nature. We are right in the cottage country. Everything around, what's one of the nicest thing I find is everything is mostly crown land. Once you start exploring the lakes, first thing you'll come up is there's not too much boats around. So you'll go miles and miles and you'll be alone on the lake. And this is what nature is all about. So whatever lake you decide to go on, just keep in mind that we are roughly about 15, 20, 25 minutes from the hospital, from the grocery store, restaurant, convenience store. Uh, everything is very located central, so you have access to a lot of service very close to your cottage. Another negative point that you could think of may be the language barrier. Yes, Quebec is associated with French people, uh, but definitely getting service here in Temiskaming, Kippewa, Laniel, Definitely a lot of people are bilingual. Most of all French people are bilingual locally, so you will never have any issues getting service in your language. Kippewa has a rich indigenous history. The culture is unreal. And you sure don't want to miss the Kippewa Country Fest. So one negative point is you can't ice fish on Lake Kippewa. We are on a five year ban and it's been very hard for the local people and the people that want to come in on Lake Kippewa and ice fish. One of the reasons we can ice fish is to bring up the population of the trout to the high standards from the government. So it has its pros as has its cons. Uh, we know now that the government is there to, uh, to make sure to protect the environment and that the fish population is protected. So what about building your own hockey rink right there on the lake? You'll be able to enjoy the nature. You'll be able to enjoy the sun, being outside, shovel the snow with your kids but most important, create nice memories. One of the things we love to do, our family, is to go explore a lot of islands. You'll see Lake Kippoa has lots and lots of islands. You could have access uh, to just stop by, do a little picnic, swim around with your kids, just exploring nature. And this is something that we've been doing the past 20, 25 years and we're still exploring. So just to give you a perspective, there's lots of islands, there's lots to discover, and this is as good as it gets. If you like this video so far, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. You'll be able to enjoy your cottage four season. Every season has their own perks. You'll be amazed what springs is all about summer. Everybody knows summer. It's the time to enjoy the lake, refresh. Uh, the fall season is one of our highest point. Colorful. And in the winter, you'll be able to hit the trails with your snowmobile. Yeah, and that's about it. <coughs> I forgot to tell you about the mosquitoes. Mosquito season is mid-June, mid-July, and there's quite a lot of mosquitoes. But one good remedy is we go on your boat and the wind will take care of them. Every week we get dozens and dozens of calls from Ontario residents who wants to purchase a property in Quebec. So what you want to do is you want to go on labranchonteam.com, our website. We will put the link here down below. Call me, text me, shoot me an email, reach out to me and we'll be happy to serve you. And until the next video, we'll catch you later.